Do you ever open the TikTok app and find yourself sucked in? You watch video after video, wanting to leave, but you can't just seem to go. The endless supply of videos keeps giving you dopamine hit after dopamine hit. Even when you finally manage to leave the app half an hour later, you still find yourself wanting to tap the icon to go back and enjoy more random videos. This feeling you get when you're in the app was engineered on purpose. TikTok has gotten really good at keeping people glued to the endless video streams for as long as possible, squeezing every second they can out of your attention. They do this because that's what they promise to their customers your attention. Your attention is very valuable to TikTok because you're not the customer. You are what they are selling to the companies that pay for ads. Businesses pay money for thousands of people to momentarily have attention on their product. And this is a pretty good business model for TikTok because they're just mining an abundant natural resource that keeps coming daily. TikTok harvests your daily attention to the videos on the app and sells it to the highest bidder. So naturally, to keep this ingenious business model going, they have to make it as hard as possible to leave. And so TikTok masterfully designs their app to ensure that you don't leave, that you stay right where you are endlessly scrolling through your feed watching more and more ads. The easiest way to keep you hooked to anything is to have that thing give you dopamine. The pleasure chemical is so powerful because once you get that hit, you just want more and more of it. So TikTok offers that dopamine hit with the short entertaining video that you see on the For You page. That's where the algorithm comes into play because they tailor your For You page to have videos that will give you the biggest dopamine hit so that you'll stay there longer. One of the ways TikTok has this down to perfection is when you're shown a video that you may not like. What's the obvious thing you do? You just keep scrolling. When you are shown a video that gives you that nice little dopamine hit, you then will keep scrolling because you subconsciously reason that you'll eventually find another video that will once again give you that same dopamine hit and momentarily satisfy you. When you go to any other part of the app, you can see the time on your phone. But when you're on the For You page, it's hidden, so you literally lose track of time. See, it's all about friction. They want it to be as easy as possible for you to get sucked in. TikTok can easily pinpoint the most addicting video for you to watch because it analyzes your engagement with the video and how long you watch it. Even if you stop scrolling and watch 10 seconds of the video, TikTok knows that that's a good type of video to show because you paused on it. This is so powerful because TikTok can start to get a grasp at your impulses that keep you watching a video for a few seconds longer and it can prey on those. TikTok can start to know your subconscious desires. And you may start to wonder, does TikTok know me more than I do myself? And I found this great analogy for TikTok. Think of TikTok as a mirror that you look into. You're gonna see your real self in the reflection. The longer you scroll on the For You page, the more videos are going to represent your true self. TikTok will eventually know your weak points and they will prey on them because they want you to stay glued to your screen as long as possible so you generate more money for them. Remember, you're not the customer of their app, you're the product.